Hey, uh, what's up, speaker files? Wellington here, and welcome to this video. Um, as you can see, this is the LG XBoom CK99. Um, it's a pretty big sound system, like you can see. It has the main unit right here, and it also has those two huge speakers. Um, I've had it for about um, almost six months or something like that and I've actually used it at actual parties like two times or something like that and this is my experience in this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about it um, what I like about it what I don't like about it um, tell you what all these buttons kind of do and at the end of the video I will also give you a sound sample so you can kind of hear it um, if that's what you're here for stay tuned First things first, for this system, if you're going to be ordering one, make sure you do have someone to help you carry it the day that it's coming in because this total thing weighed at over 400 pounds. You will definitely need someone to help you carry this around. So starting off, what do all these buttons do? Well, let's start with that. Um, this is the on button, so easy, on, off. That's what you use. You can put music on the USB sticks and just plug them in and you can play music off of USB. So, and that's what I have in here. You can record everything that is playing as you're mixing it onto one of the USB sticks. So that is a pretty, pretty cool feature that they have there. This is just a button to switch between different modes that you want to use or you know put in function. And next to that is the wireless link right here. And this one kind of is kind of um, self-explanatory, but what it does is basically if you have two um, speakers from LG that all have the wireless link feature, you can connect them using wireless just like that. Like I have one right here that I wanted to try it out with. So if you can connect the two of them, so they are um, playing um, together. So okay. So okay. So like you can hear, I have um, this one here now linked up with that guy right there also has its own volume just works by its own wireless wirelessly to a different LG speaker that also has wireless link so it's a pretty cool feature so if you like right now I have all of these I can put this in the other corner on the other side of the house or the hall or whatever I'm doing and have that play from that way so you can have this pretty big sound coming out of this just just wirelessly like that or if you want you can also use um, the output channels out here and you know wired use a wired connection from here to there what this does is whatever you have playing from this side if you have this USB or CD playing on this side you can use this um, to slow down the tempo of the song um, something like this let's try a different Then I can go ahead and kind of slow it down. So that's kind of what that is, and it, that that works on this side. And then this one here is the tempo. 
or whatever could be playing on this so that you can slow it or make it go faster. So that controls the volume of the microphone and these are just vocal effects. I can kind of give you a sample of that, I guess. So now we are vocal effects off and now we have bass effect. You get the point. And this one here is also an echo, echo mode. This is a voice counselor right here. What it does is if you have a song playing, so if we have a song playing kind of like that, and I do, so as you can hear, that's what that does. It takes out the um, the lead voices mainly and then leaves you the backup vocals and all those kind of stuff so and then right here is the key changer what this one does is basically what it sounds like basically um if you're trying to sing karaoke and a song you're trying to sing to is a little bit too high or too low for your voice you can always just cheat by either um low lowering the key or taking the hat the key up higher so you're able to reach the notes that you want they give you a spot back here to plug in your headphones which is kind of the one of the nicest things i, I liked about this only way this turns on and give you options to work with it is if you have this in mixer mode so mixer on so right now what that means you can see it's telling me the a telling me the stuff about the a side and then the b side and coming back to the headphones if i do now um it's mixed sound then the source a that means what i hear in here is coming from whatever it's play playing on this side so this um and i can ch change it to source b so that would be i can hear in here whatever is on this side or i can say mixed sound so that means whatever um, is coming out of the main speakers is what I will be hearing in here So these buttons here will control whatever is playing on this side These control buttons will control whatever is playing on this side like this guy right here in the center is your acceleration You know party accelerator party mode one Or you can go to party mode two Or you can do um, party mode three. <laughs> so it's pretty pretty cool. And then coming down further, these are um, scratches if you're into that. So this is the B side. And if I do search, you see that starts moving. I can search through what song I want to you know to play just like that. The same thing on this side, you can go in there and search for the song that you want to listen to and then play that. So it's really, really nice that they give you that feature to just go in without interrupting the sound and just search for the song that you want instead of just skipping until you reach and find whatever you're trying to look for. So that is really, really nice. Down here, DJ loop. You guys know what that is. You can just loop a song that you're trying to play. Bass blast is crazy. Basically just puts a lot of bass into those speakers, just boosts everything up. And to get to that, you can just long press it and we just directly go to uh, bass blast, like you see right there, or you can just tap it to switch between um, different um, EQs, something like that. That's what that does, and this is just for the lighting, like you can see right there. See my hand can reflect. There's also on this side right here, they have an EQ, um, user EQ. See, they give you three bands that you can change. They have the mids, they have the treble and bass. And they have the DJ effects here. Uh, let's see what that does. And 
me. I also have a DJ loop on this side. So that's basically everything. No, there's a drum pad. So what we have left is this guy right here, the switcher or whatever they call it. Um, basically what it does is if you have a song playing in A but you want to switch to the one playing in B, this is the guy that you use. A, go to B. So something like that. And it also gives you on the screen right here if you can see that, it shows you the level. If you're at 5 then you're full on playing this and if you can go that way and then I'll let this guy in too. So that's what that it, it is. I guess I can give you a sample of that. Okay, so now that I found whatever track that I need to play that's on this side, then I can just use this guy right here. And let you in into the reggae world. if you can't tell. Anyway, so that's what this guy does. He just basically switches between tracks from this side to the other side. So that's pretty sweet. If you're trying to use this guy right here and it's not working, it's probably because you have auto sync on. What that does, it disables this and which kind of disables the headphones too so you can't switch between A and B on the headphones. But that means that the, the system itself will be syncing between the A and B, before this comes to an end, you'll be merging them by itself and it does it automatically. So make sure you have mix on. Pretty sure I've already mentioned it, but they already, they also have a CD that you can, a CD ROM that you can use to play um, music off of your CDs, um, which is something I've gotten back into lately, going back to my old music that's been on CDs forever. They have two microphone inputs back here. Okay, so I think I've covered what mostly this guy can do. Um, not in great details, like explaining what how to do stuff but I've given you an idea of what this thing is capable of doing. I've had it for six months, I've been playing with it for quite a bit and I've enjoyed using it and that's the truth is that I do like this system. If you're going to be using this in just a regular room in a house, there's no way you're going to be going all the way to maximum volume. No way. It gets super, super loud. Um, on the two parties that we were able to use it, we were able to go all the way to maximum volume, but that's, but that's because it's a party, it's a bunch of people there, it's dance time, and the rooms were a lot bigger than any room that you're going to find in a, um, a regular house or a regular home or something like that. So. It gets really, really loud. Now, I do love the sound that comes out of it, and I do generally love the whole system. It's a pretty amazing, and I feel like everybody should have it in a family at least. Like, so if you have parties and stuff like that, at least it's there. You can call on the whoever is keeping it or something like that, and you can use it at your house and you know parties, weddings, or karaoke nights to just have fun or something like that. It's really really amazing. While I love the system, I feel like there's a few things that they could have done a little bit better. First one being they should have given us a little longer wire from the unit here to the speakers. I feel like sometimes they wanted to put the speaker in the very corner of the other of the hall or the other corner and then put the other one in the other corner. But I couldn't do it just because of you know, the limitation of the wires. You can probably solder them and join them yourself and make it longer, but it would have been nice if we had, you know, out of the box long wires to reach longer places. The other thing is, the more you raise the volume, the more that hissing comes up. But again, that volume, if I played something right now, <laughs> my ears would start bleeding because that would be really loud in this small um, this small room. So you wouldn't hear that if you were playing loud music because you'd probably be far away from here. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying that it is there. And maybe lastly is the scratch 
feature, this guy right here. It's usable, but it has its own tempo. I'm not sure how they could have done that or just made it one instead of that loop. If they just made it one so it only happens when you scratch and it stops instead of just going by itself like that it would have been nicer but just because they have that loop it has its own tempo that is going on and if you try to use it when you're playing a certain song see it scratches on its own tempo and it just to me just kind of distracting instead of being cool and usable um, so I don't use the scratching very much going that way is a little bit easier or usable but most of these are to me I've not been able to use them and enjoy them and feel like I'm doing something just because that tempo is not on par with whatever song I'm trying to play and you know mix that in so those are the only complaints i have about it otherwise it's something i would recommend to anybody if you're into throwing parties and stuff like that if you love having parties at your house if you love you know mixing music for your friends and stuff like that this is pretty sweet and it's not something i'm planning on getting rid of because you know families have parties and friends have parties people come over we play music, we dance, do all that kind of stuff using this system. It's pretty, pretty nice. I'm happy with it and I would recommend it to anybody. And also on that note, I want to thank LG for sending this stuff out. I didn't use my money to buy this. All thanks go to LG. Thank you guys for sending this out. I'll give you a few samples. Regular lovers, regular lovers, regular lovers. Break it down.
but I forgot to let you guys know this thing comes with a remote so there is that I forgot to mention that um, that's what happens when you do not script a video so bear with me there but anyways that's the end of the sound the sound samples I finished embarrassing myself I think I'm gonna go go ahead and find something else to do maybe edit this video so you guys can watch it that camera just gave up I think I should be done Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Wow. I'm kind of sweating now.